The first word all of you learned was when you were about nine months old trying to stand up by grabbing a hold of the tablecloth with all the dishes up there and pulling yourself up. And you think, the first thing your mother or your father said to you was, no, stop. <laughs> so what do you do? You, the, the excitement that was generated from the emotion of no gave you attention. And as a baby, the only thing you wanted was attention from your parents. So the more negativities, things you did and got no for, you wound up in a no environment. Then you get out in public and 10% of all the words in your vocabulary have a vowel and two consonant or a vowel is an independent word, a letter, which makes it a syllable. All prefixes mean no. So therefore you're getting constantly brainwashed in a no scenario. Now when you go to, if you want to learn about par se, pick up any handbook, any handbook from any re religion or faith and when you sing, you sing in par se. All songs on the radio are written in parse. You hear it all the time and aren't even aware of how you're brainwashed with parse. Then when you go to a parse dictionary and you look up what parse means, about 90% of the things you're saying is no contract, no contract, no contract, no contract, no contract, and you're just being brainwashed with the negativity of no. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an exercise of negativity you can never perform the negative condition of a state. People, when you go to court, the judge says, he's not on your plane. The judge talks in negativity. The attorney, ATT, talks in negativity. The lawyer, who is a liar, talks in negativity and writes in negativity. If you're doing a perfect zero, how can you charge them with something they did wrong? That's why they declare immunity. See, it's all a, it's a poetic, it's a poetic pro process of continually generating nothing.